What's up everyone? I'm back from my 1400 mile off-road run and my Raptor out there. So yes, we do have truck parts. There's a, a truck line on the website, you just gotta look for it. What's everyone think of the uh, the wrap that VaderWorks did for the utbsource.com car? This is the 2020 Turbo S. It's all Cognito cage, Cognito doors, Cognito suspension, Cognito front bumpers, Cognito rear flip up spare mount. It's got the rugged race radios in it. There's the scar. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back from the run and the seats came in. I am super excited about this. So let's get to it. I'm gonna go over why I'm changing the seats. All right, so my neighbor's mowing the yard. It is what it is. That's pretty loud. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully he broke his mower. <laughs> let's get to the seats. This is the factory Polaris RZR seat and they're not bad, right? It's really not that bad until you really start breaking it down. This is plastic, everyone. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna just fold this, there, there you go. I'm one hand, just bent the seat, okay? It's a plastic seat. It's got a plastic base. And these always break, this always breaks. We're gonna upgrade ours later, but that's one of the downfalls to these seats. The metal work inside the seat, the frame, it, it, it's okay, you know? But again, it's held into plastic. So these little bolts right here are into nuts or it's into your seat. And that's all that's holding you on. There's not a lot of side bolstering here. It looks like there is, but you can take that over and fold it over. The same on the seat, I can push it all the way down. It's not really a great seat. They are comfortable, but not on long rides. There's no suspension, there's no give in it. So, I always run the PRP seats. This one in particular is a GTSE. This is where your harness is passed through right here. So what that does is it holds your harnesses in from sliding out. Your harness is on a factory car, come over your shoulder. In the event of an accident, they slide down, you slide out. Those videos you see of people being ejected don't have seat belts or harnesses, and they don't have seats that are locking in their harnesses, so you can't get ejected. So this is the GTSE model. And what that is, is it's a non-removable cushion, right? There's no cushion in here that can be removed. These seats have a drain mesh in them right here for water and sand. This is a no custom stitch seat, but the cool thing with PRP is you get to design your own seat. And we're a dealer at PRP seats. This seat I went with Tweed, it's rad. Sometimes it'll hold dust, but you can wipe it down. You can wash this seat. It's marine grade vinyl. I went with the Voodoo Blue, Tweed, light gray vinyl, and a purple stitch. Nothing fancy. This is the standard seat. Looks awesome. The big difference between the two, look at the bolstering. This one, there's not much there. It's just foam. This is a tube steel frame, welded and powder coated. I mean by tube steel frame is, remember the factory one, it's plastic. This is metal, tube steel. It's been welded, powder coated. It's paracord suspension, meaning it's gonna move and give. A, it, that's gonna take the jolt out. This right here bolts to the factory base. This is the strap to release the seat, just like factory. Instead of being right here on a clip, you're gonna activate it through a strap to release it. This is a rad seat. It has all the foam in there, paracording. If the, if the cover is destroyed or ruined, you can simply buy a new one. You don't have to buy a whole new seat. So on the bolstering, you can see this one's gonna have more containment. It's also gonna have the harnesses coming through your waist right here, which is critical. If you're a small guy like me, it means it's gonna grab your legs, your waist, and hold you down in the seat. This has to come over the seat and then go back over the seat. We're holding the body into a seat, not the seat into a car. The seat's held into the car with the bolts and the harness on this. This is safe. So the other thing I like is it's comfortable. It's laid out right. You have a little more bolstering on the side here. It's a little wider, broader in your shoulders. It's a very attractive seat compared to that. And if you start looking at all the safety issues, 
on a factory seat versus an aftermarket PRP seat, you start to see it. Now, if you guys are gonna go hard, this is a great seat. There's also the GT3, it's another model of PRP seats. There's the Comp UTV. There's the XC, more for trail riding, getting in and out of your car easier. This has a, what I would call like a stage three bolstering. It's gonna contain you a lot better than the factory. The safety and performance is in the seat. You go to a GT3 seat, you're gonna get a little bit more. It's a removable cushion, a little bit more expensive. You go to the Comp UTV, you get more containment in this area. Meaning, if you're going hard and you're racing or something, that's a big boy seat. I went with this, we're gonna do some trail rides, we're gonna do duning, we're gonna have fun. So this is the GTSE PRP seats. We are a dealer at utvsource.com. There is a video for install. These install pretty easy, it comes with all the hardware. And I'm gonna get to installing this seat right now. see what it looks like inside the car okay so you can see I already changed one seat over there's not a lot going on here folks this is the factory seat base here that we've removed the seats gonna come with this channel tucked in the bottom of the seat it's a total of eight bolts take them out of this whatever this is oh look at this it's this a brand new seat this car hasn't been driven the material is already ripping right there So you just take it off and we transfer it onto this factory plate. So we're gonna retain the slider. Instead of having the quick release on the factory one on your, I don't know, the base of the seat, it's now here. So it bolts into here and use this lever. So we're gonna put this one in. These are the tools required. You need an eight mil Phillips head. This is a 27. And just in case. This is the rest of the hardware that comes with the kit. I'm gonna put this one in right now and we're gonna see if it fits. So we're all gonna find out together. So that seat's all the way back. This is the release lever right here. You pull up on that, it ejects the seat. So they've thought of it all. On the factory one, you have to come in here and pull up and it ejects the seat. Now, this is where I was talking about the harnesses. See how they're gonna come in, they're gonna bolt into the chassis down here. But they're gonna come in and they're gonna hold you into the seat versus going over the seat. The harnesses are gonna attach this harness bar back here. They're gonna come through the seat so they can't peel off you, they're captured. You become one with the seat, the seat is one with the car. It's a better driving experience, it's a safer driving experience. This car's gonna look hot. Super stoked. One more to go. We'll just throw those away. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw them away. I'm gonna use them for something. We're gonna get this one in. And we're gonna get the harnesses going. All right, so I'm gonna show you the disassembly. This is the factory seat. I'm using a 27, T27. And I'm not using a gun because I don't wanna tear the nut certs out. This is all plastic. So you just wanna take your time with it. You don't wanna spin a nut cert it does happen factory seats are kind of junky they're fine if you're just ripping around having a good time we're gonna be driving a little harder than that so and we may end up upgrading these later so you're just gonna take them out there's a total of eight bolts so once that's out you just remove this okay keep the hardware in there no big deal you can see there's four more in here. And what that's gonna do is we need the bolts. This is what is going to get installed to take the place of this, the standoff. So, I don't know if you can see this. This is plastic. This is what's holding you down. So on the other seats, it's metal. Oh, it's just silly. So we're gonna remove all this out. Look at this. This is the nuts are dug into the plastic, spun right out. I wouldn't put my little girl in this seat. Huh, baby? Huh? So, 
I'm gonna have to fix that. And that's why we have these. Just grab it. Okay, that's not gonna do it. Oh, plastic seats. So rad. Don't fall, you're gonna fall, aren't you? You wanna fall, don't you? Let's put you right there. I threw it on the ground. Grab me seat. So, see we're trying to get this out right here. I don't know if you can see it. That's the nut cert into the plastic. It came on done. So. This little metal nut cert is what's spun in your plastic seat. This is what's holding you in to plastic. Players, come on. That's ridiculous. So we're gonna go ahead and get the other two out. So I'll show you this. These are the nut certs into the plastic. That's the one that spun out this and this is what's holding you into your car on your stock seat belts that go around the seats versus through the seats it's not safe okay so basically the four little screws that we took out are bolts as you would call it need to go back in and the PRP seats come with this bracket right here this tube steel it has an arrow paint facing forward Make sure that's in there. You're just gonna go back in with those four that we took out of the seat base, line them up, tighten them down. So you're not going back into plastic now. You're going into metal. It's a welded nut on the back side. It doesn't tear out. That's important. That's safety. Once you're done with that, this fits back on. This is the passenger seat. He hasn't broke his weed wrecker yet. So you're gonna wanna adjust this. All the way forward is gonna put you all the way back towards the bar. If you want your passenger closer to the dash, you slide this back. Passenger seat's non-adjustable, so we're just gonna go ahead and put them all the way back. We go back in with the hardware. We do all four of them. That's it. All right, so driver's seat's in, rugged radios, communication, plug-in is in, it's straight through that seat. You can zip tight over if you don't like that. You always end up having to grab behind you, so. Uh, this one's ran for the communications. I went off the, the factory plastics, put a zip tie around it, and zip tied that to a zip tie all the way up the wall so it's not flopping around, making a bunch of noise. And we're gonna test fit this seat. Now at least we're metal to metal. Make sure that's up. That's it. Look at that. I probably have 15 minutes in to doing that. They're in, they're done. We went from factory seats, not a lot of containment, not a lot of safety on it. Remember the factory seats, the harness comes over we're coming through the seats. We're locking you into the seat. The seat is now locked in the, the side by side. We're not, we're not locked in with plastic rivets or plastic with uh, nut certs that you saw I had the problem with that just pulled right out with no torque. So metal to metal. Yes, we have a plastic base. It's the factory one. You can upgrade those to aluminum bases. Um, we may get to that later. So seats are amazing. A lot of containment, they look great. They're suspension seats, they're more comfortable. It's a marine grade vinyl, tweed. You can change any of this to any color you want, any stitching color you want, any material you want. There's no extra fee on them. PRP seats, it's legit. 
So now we're gonna put the PRP harnesses in and we're sick. Then pretty soon we're gonna go rip this thing. We're getting there. We just, I choose to do it this way for safety reasons before I take the car out. Okay, so now that the seats are in, located, all that's done, we're gonna go ahead and install the PRP seats 5.3 by two harnesses. And what that means, folks, is just like what it says, okay? It's five points of contact. One, two, three, four, five. Five points of contact, three inches, is your lap belt. That's bolted in down there to this factory position. This is three inches. By two, is two inches in the shoulder with the pad. I like the two inches shoulder in the pad because I, I feel like the three is a little big for a side-by-side. -side. Um, you can put those in if that's what you like because you can do a 5.3 or a 5.3 by two, or you can do a 4.2, which is four points and an auto buckle if you don't like the latch and link system, which is this, is a latch and link system. The harness, you can do two different ways and we'll get to that. I choose to go over the roll bar and latch it into itself. It's really easy to adjust if you have a passenger that's smaller or bigger. It's quick access versus a bolt-in setup. We order a cage with no bolt-ins. I like to go around the tubes and then the rest of it bolts in. This again goes around the base tube. The legs of the seat are going to clip into here. Pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's put the seat in, see what it looks like. Okay, I got all the seats in. The PRP seats are all in. Got the PRP harnesses in. These are the 5.3.2. So again, can't stress this enough. The seat and harness are captured. They can't slide off the seats like the factory ones. We're metal to metal. We're wrapped around the tube. Or you can order these harnesses in your cage with bolt-in. We took that off and looped it around the tube. Um, I like that better, it's quicker adjustment. But it's all in, it looks amazing. A lot of safety in this, that's the whole deal, right? I can't stress safety enough. These little side-by-sides rip. They just, they're very fast, very capable machines. You need to be safe. So we've got the seats, the suspension seats. Do them in any color we want. No charge on that. PRP seats for a dealer for them at utbsource.com. You got your harnesses. We're good to go. Looks amazing. I'm super stoked on it. I'm really stoked on it. So it's coming together. So you guys remember to keep following us at YouTube channel at UTB Source, our Instagram at UTB Source, and our stories. And uh subscribe to the email list a lot of bangers happen there cool stuff's going on we've got an affiliate program going we've got a vendor program going for shops that need parts shoot us a message use the website i can't stress that enough we've got a great customer support team now and it's growing so uh, i want to thank you guys for tuning in we got a, another install to do on this i better start getting on it so we'll see you guys out there Bye.